Do you? Yes, you. Do you want to know how to look good in any setting, in any occasion, you'll be the best looking person? Then keep watching this and I'll tell you seven tips to achieve your most beautiful self always. Hello everyone. Welcome to this community of very beautiful people who see, express, and create beauty in many aspects of our lives. My name is Chime Kankari and my mission for this channel is to inspire you to see, create, and express your most beautiful self in several aspects of your life. Things that I say on this channel will most likely probe you to do more soul search and work harder to create your most beautiful self. Today, I'm talking about seven tips to help you feel beautiful always. My first tip is open your eyes and your senses to the beauty that you already have. I know that some of you may be thinking to yourselves that if I saw how you looked, then I won't call you beautiful. Or you may be thinking to yourself that you are the opposite of beauty. Or you may be thinking that you have seen many beautiful people in your life and then how can I call you beautiful when you don't compare to those people who you believe are beautiful or more beautiful than you. My response to all those thoughts and all those questions in your mind is you are extremely beautiful and this is why I believe so. Some of my beliefs about beauty stems from the Bible. The verses I'm going to quote are first, Genesis 1:27. God created mankind, both male and female he created and then Genesis 31, whereby God looked at everything that he created and he said it was good, you are good. The next verse I derives beliefs in beauty form is Proverbs 31, which I'll talk about in a different video. But read Proverbs 31 about the virtuous woman and you will see the characteristics and the virtues that she has. The other verse I will quote is Matthew 5, 14 to 16, whereby it says, You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and then put it on a basket. It is put on a lamp shed where it gives light to the house. Just as you must shine your light before others so that when they see your works they will bless the name of your father so you must shine your light before others so that people will bless the name of your father your father meaning God or supreme being that you look up to I urge you to look within and then find the beauty that is already in you there is so much beauty even the physical, the mental there is so much beauty in you there are so many avenues to express this beauty so I urge you to look deep in yourself and then shine your light so that everyone can see it and you also can see the beauty that you already have. My second tip is create beauty. You have to accept that you're beautiful in many areas before you can create beauty. Just as a tree gives its right fruits. So once you believe that you're beautiful and you have different avenues to create beauty, then you will see yourself creating beauty in many areas of your life. In my life, I see many opportunities to create beauty. I see these opportunities in my physical, my mental, my spiritual life, in my social life, in my financial life, and also in my career. I'm determined to do whatever it takes to be the best version of myself in those areas. So I am on a holistic journey of beauty. And you are welcome to join. So feel free to join me, subscribe, like, and share. You also can create beauty in this world and in yourself. You can create beauty through your actions, your decision, and your choices. Remember that the beautiful things you see, the beautiful things you enjoy were created. And you also have creative powers in you to create beauty in yourself and in this world. So I urge you, choose area in your life so whether you want to create beauty and find the energy to do so. Which brings me to my third tip. Focus on health of body and mind. As we all know, a healthy person has the optimal level of energy to perform his or her daily life tasks. To be our best selves, we need to focus on health, health of both body and mind. Be mindful though, health is not equal to the weight on the scale. Health and weight are different things. I am talking about only health of the body and health of the mind. I am not talking about weight here. People say you are what you eat and that is true to an extent. However, I also believe that you are what you think, you are what you meditate upon. If your thoughts are rotten, you will produce rotten stuff. Even if your physical diet is good, even if you are eating the best veggies and everything, but your mind is rotten, you will create 
negative things. To create beauty, we need to look beyond just creating beauty of our physical body to creating health of both the body and then creating health of the mind. Health of the mind can be achieved through reading good books, listening to good and inspirational things, and also being around positive people. While health of the body can be achieved through eating the right food for you, going to the doctor for preventative checkups and also just exercising sleeping well and overall living a healthy lifestyle remember when you're trying to create beauty make sure the things you're doing ensures health of both your body and mind make sure it never negatively impacts your health this brings me to my fourth tip focus on peace this is a very big topic and I'm not going to cover everything here, but just a few words on this. In the journey to find your most beautiful self, you need to achieve peace within your own self and with the world, people around you. Peace gives us the mental space to do the important things in our lives. In your journey to actualizing your most beautiful self, do things that will enable you achieve true inner peace. And things that will enable you achieve peace with others around you. Create beauty that will bring you peace and will bring peace to those around you also. Beauty and peace go together. This brings me to my fifth tip. Take courage to express and create your most beautiful self. If you've been told in the past that you're ugly or you've ever believed that you're ugly, then this step will be hard to do. However, this step is very necessary. Creating beauty in your life and in this world requires courage for example for many years i thought i wasn't beautiful a few reasons why i felt i wasn't beautiful is because i had a cheap tooth um and i was made to cut my hair for over eight years whenever anyone came to the house i thought i was one of the, the boys so they always mistook me for a boy a little boy that affected my self-esteem and just my perception of myself as beautiful however I made the conscious decision to make improvements in my life. Example, as you can see, I fixed the chips tooth. Sometimes in the process of making those changes, I don't have the imposter syndrome. I feel like an imposter. I feel like I don't fit in, in the world of beauty. I know that that feeling is a lie and it's just my fears making me not reach forward to achieving my best self. At a point in my life, I felt comfortable with not being acknowledged as beautiful. I felt comfortable with the thought of me not being beautiful. So my fears are trying to keep me in my previous comfort zone. However, comfort zones are not always the best. They're not always good things. Given that my previous comfort zone was accepting myself as not beautiful, I don't accept that comfort zone. So I'm doing things to rise above that. I'm sure so many of you have experienced the same feeling as I felt. I'm sure so many of you are going through that. I'm sure that this story resonates with so many of you. So I urge you to find the courage to express your beauty in every aspect that you deem possible. This brings me to my sixth tip. Eliminate toxic jealousy and comparison. Delete them for your life. Delete toxic jealousy. Delete toxic comparison for your life. Jealousy and toxic comparison are the thieves of joy and happiness. In fact, they negatively impact your beauty. Let me ask you this question. Do you want the time you should have spent working to be a better human being? Do you want that time to go towards toxic comparison? I'm sure the answer is no. So please, don't waste your time with toxic comparison and jealousy. If you find that you're jealous of someone, ask yourself, what aspects of this person's life am I jealous of? That feeling of jealousy can be a reminder of things that you need to improve on. It might be a call to improve. But if you don't do anything and you just have bitter feelings in you, that is toxic. So find those areas of life you want to improve. And the person who you feel some jealousy towards, why don't you just go ahead and talk to that person? Be nice to the person. Be nice about it. Talk to the person and tell the person, the areas you like about their lives and possibly they can help you to also improve your life in those areas. 
who knows just that discussion can win you a new friend and who knows that discussion can help you be a better person so eliminate toxic jealousy and toxic comparison and then find ways to improve yourself and if you feel jealous about someone find those areas of your life whereby you need to improve and work on it work on it beauty can be created so work on yourself and you'll be your most beautiful self this brings me to my seventh tip and the last tip is gratitude i can't wait to say the need for gratitude be grateful for what you have there are so many things about you that is extremely beautiful just the way you are right now there's so many things about you that is extremely good just the way you are right now so acknowledge those things that are already good about yourself before you go ahead to change a or b about yourself sit down with yourself and find out what is already good in me what is already good in me what is already working in me and be grateful for those things that are working right even the things that are not working right be grateful for them because sometimes what makes life interesting is just the constant self-improvement imagine there was nothing for you to do and there was no improvement for you to make in life i mean it feels like life is going to be boring in that sense be grateful for your strengths and your weaknesses because god has given us those two things the strengths and the weaknesses in our lives for a purpose your weaknesses can guide you in your right paths and your strengths too can guide you in right paths so don't be angry about having some weaknesses be happy about your weakness and your strengths and be grateful for everything you have the good the bad and everything in between find ways to be grateful each day just write at least three things that you're grateful for and then you'll find how much beauty is already in your life so just a recap the best way to be your most beautiful self always is first of all see open your eyes see the beauty that you already have in you because there's a lot in there the second create beauty god created the world and we all say god is beautiful when we haven't even seen the god but we see the creation of that god and the creation is very beautiful and that same god created us in his own image so in that sense we have that creative power to create beauty so create beauty in your life in the world around you you can create beauty the third is focus on health of body and mind you are what you eat and you are what you think so do your best to create health in your body and in your mind the fourth focus on peace peace is important you need to have peace in yourself to give space for you to create other beautiful things the fifth is take courage this journey of beauty would be difficult in the sense of it requires you to do a lot of self-improvement but take courage and know that you are here to be your best self and nothing is going to stop you from being your best self the world the universe god is for you to be your best self and the sixth is eliminate jealousy and comparison you are blessed and you have so many good things in you and if you see something else that one has that is beautiful ask the person how they achieved it don't be angry in yourself what the other person has but just eliminate toxic comparison and jealousy the seventh is gratitude always be grateful gratitude is a big deal find at least three things each day you're grateful for and you'll see a whole lot of beauty in your life I hope you enjoyed this and if you like this please like share and subscribe as you know i'm a new youtuber and i need subscriptions to get to my goal of above a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021 and you can help me achieve this goal so thank you in advance you take care and bye